Now the first step is to verify the game file. So make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Now once the verification is 100% complete, then you can launch the game and then check. Now this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Now the next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. Now for this, you can make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to the general tab. Now over here in the launch option, type in dash DX11 and then you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even try dash DX12 and this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So try DX12 and then launch the game and then check. Still not working. Then you can remove this and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder so in my case the game is installed in this location now open the game folder and then select the game exe file and then click on add once the game is added over here now click on click on the game and over here you can see high performance select high performance and you will see your graphic card again click on add desktop app and then open yeah that's the only exe file now next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder so make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder now make a right click on the game exe file select properties go to this tab Put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check if that does not work then you can put a check on this and then select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game from here so instead of launching the game from steam try to launch the game from here and then check if that does not work again go to properties this time select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now still not working so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working then you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like vast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add and allowed app click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open and now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings at the top click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again open the game folder select the game exe file click on open and then click on add in my case uh, the game is already added so once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to rename or delete the save game files now before you rename or delete the save game files let me inform you 
create a backup first because when you delete or rename the save game files you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch to rename the save game files you can open file explorer on your computer and then you can go to this pc open c drive open users folder now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data click on view select show put a check on hidden items open app data folder open the local low folder scroll down over here you can see sense game folder so you can make a right click and copy this folder just create a backup so create a backup once you have a backup over here now you can now you can rename this folder dot old now you can launch the game and then you can check still not working the next step is to install visual c++ file so copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website install these visual studios file so scroll down here you can see x86 and x64 you have to install both x86 and x64 file so run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install button hit install download this x64 file as well again run this exe file now if you see repair click on repair if you see the install button hit install and then click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both files are installed once installed then make sure that you restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check next step is to update windows to the latest version so open windows settings go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check next step is to close all the overclock overclocking applications so if you have msi afterburner reva tuner or any kind of overclocking application running close it now if you have undervolted the computer remove the undervolt disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game if you have any other overlay application running like discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have geforce experience running or nvidia app running you can go to settings and turn off overlay or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game now the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on okay and over here uh it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 1024 1024 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram 
so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 4915152 one. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to update update the BIOS so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and update the BIOS in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS after the BIOS update log into the computer and then launch the game now next step is to unplug all the external devices so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of USB adapter connected disconnect it disconnect extra controller connected sometimes we have extra USB dongle connected disconnected disconnect multiple monitor Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party application or services running, close all third party services and application. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to some different drive like D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.